Greetings! I'm Mark Elliott Schwabe, Steamsmith, and this is my video blog for May 2nd, 2014. Today we're filming in my studio as I make a smokestack for my sleek airship brooch. I've selected a 155 thousandths of an inch diameter brass rod as the material to make the smokestack from. Inserting it into this flexible shaft machine, I begin to turn it like on a lathe, except instead of a lathe, we're using a flexible shaft. Running the end across the file makes it nice and squared off, even at the top. Being a smokestack, it needs to have a hole in the top. I'm going to accomplish that with this size spherical burr. A little wax for lubrication. Here we go. Don't try this at home, kids. <laughs> Running two machines like that can be a little tricky. Just made a little mark there. I'm going to start cutting away the unwanted parts of the brass. using an engraving tool. As you can see, the engraving tool cut away the metal between the two marks I made with the saw. I have to decide exactly how long it's going to be. the saw to get started on these cuts.
next bit of unwanted metal I'm going to remove is going to be um, more metal than the last one so it'll, it'll have like a stair step effect on this smokestack. That's the desired thickness, uh, approximately. Now we need to even it out. It's, it's irregular now. to make it all a little bit smoother. I think to make things a little more interesting, I'm going to add a couple of lines. see that it's taking shape. Actually, it's near completion now. I'm going to make a peg for the bottom to help facilitate it getting into the airship itself. Uh, I'm also going to smooth things out a little bit. I think we'll start with some smoothing out. There's a little emery paper. ready to put the smokestack on the airship, I'll drill a hole in the airship and fit the peg that I'm making now into that hole. And then I'll solder the smokestack in place.
So I've started the peg. I'm going to measure the thickness now. I think it's too thick. I don't know more. My digital micrometer will tell me that it's 73 thousandths of an inch in diameter, and I'd like it to be 60 thousandths. Hunting for a file that would be just right for this. Pick this one. I'd like to mention that if you're not an experienced metalsmith, please don't attempt to do this. It can be dangerous. Uh, sharp tools and machines spinning things around. I'm uh, presenting this video so that you can see what I do, uh, not, not as a suggestion as to what you should be doing. So I'm down to 63 thousandths of an inch. Pretty soon the peg will be ready. Two thousandths of an inch. <clears throat> uh, this diameter matters because it's the diameter of the drill bit I want to use to drill the hole to uh, um, place this into the airship. Just about there. Here we go. Sixty thousandths of an inch. You can see what it looks like. That's essentially the finished smokestack. I'm going to cut it off now, uh, and we'll be done. So there is the um, here's the finished smokestack. Let's stay still for you. And the metal piece of metal like the one it came from. So now you know what I do to make fun. To uh, see airships that I've made that have smokestacks like this one, uh, and to see this one at some point when I finally get it posted, uh, please go to my website, and the address for my website uh, is posted along with this video. Uh, thank you for stopping by. This is Mark Elliott Schwabe, Steam Smith.